Okay, here we have a situation where we're going to talk about the period trend for the size of atoms and atoms radius. How the atomic size compares as you move across a periodic chart from left to right. Now all of the elements in period two are actually filling the same principal energy level. They are all currently filling the second energy level. So therefore they in turn have the same shielding effect. For instance, I've just drawn the number of protons that each of these um, first four elements have in period two. Okay, period two actually starts with lithium. <clears throat> Excuse me, atomic number three. And now lithium has three protons. So the first two electrons are on the first energy level. And that third electron is on n equals two. Okay. Now let's move over to beryllium. Beryllium has four protons in the nucleus, so it has four electrons as well in this neutral atom. The first energy level is actually going to be pulled a little bit closer into the nucleus because we have four protons now pulling in these two electrons that are not being shielded by anybody. So that first energy level is actually held a little bit closer to the nucleus than lithium's first energy level because there's only three protons here, whereas now we have four. And then the second energy level also has two electrons in it. If you notice, there's two electrons shielding, and there's two electrons shielding here as well. The shielding effect is remaining the same, so you actually have a greater pull on these outer electrons from the nucleus because of the greater positive charge that's inside the nucleus. So the greater the positive pull of the nucleus, or the greater the nuclear charge of that nucleus, the greater to the extent that it's going to pull that other energy level, the outermost energy level, in towards it. So the atom, in turn, gets smaller. Moving over to boron, that has five protons in the nucleus, the effect that it has on those first two electrons, the first two electrons are not being uh, repelled by anybody in between the nucleus and where they're located. So on that first energy level, it is really pulled in nice and tight to the nucleus. Now the second energy level has three electrons in there. So again, you have the same shielding, same two electrons shielding the outermost electrons, but now we have five positive charges that are pulling in those outer electrons. So the greater the nuclear charge, the more pull that it has on those outermost electrons, pulling the whole boundary in closer to the nucleus. So in turn, the atom is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Carbon, six protons in the nucleus. The first two electrons are really held close and tight to the nucleus. First energy level. Now we have four electrons on the next energy level. On the n equals two, those four electrons, that boundary is still going to be held in even closer to the nucleus than <clears throat> boron or beryllium or lithium because of the fact of that six positive charge in the nucleus. So as you go across the period, the atoms generally get smaller and smaller and smaller as you go. Just food for thought though, um, we talked about the atomic size as you go down the group. Remember I asked you to remember snowman concept? Well, the increase in size as you go down the group is actually a little bit more significant than the decrease as you go across a period. They decrease a smaller amount, whereas they increase considerably as you go down a group, just to keep that in mind.